Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So this is my most recent mini haul. So I wanted to share my mini haul with you. And one of them is actually a gift. It was for my little sister who is absolutely adorable. So Cass, thank you so much for your thoughtfulness. I really, really appreciate you and your friendship. You are a doll. So I don't even know where to start. Um, I did go ahead and purchase the Ofra Nikki Tutorials collection. I did mention the lippy that's orange in one of my previous videos. So I did kind of cheat and use something before I shared it with you. But I had an opportunity to use Ofra's highlighter in Rodeo Drive from, I believe it was the BoxyCharm subscription. And when I saw Nikki Tutorials put out some some new lippies from Ofra, which I like them, except that orange one didn't work very well. But anyways, don't mean to digress. I decided to go ahead and purchase these because, you know, I've seen them pop up over YouTube for a while and I just didn't get around to purchasing them. So now I made sure that I got these and this was from Ulta. So I'm looking forward to trying the Everglow highlighter and some more of Ofra's lippies. So looking forward to that. One of my recent or another purchase, repurchase, was the Helpor Clean Up Makeup Mask. So you, you guys probably saw this through YouTube with people putting this mask all over their face and screaming as they pull it off. Absolutely, you can do this makeup mask and make it painful. And what does that mean? So, yes, the mask is made for your area for um, wherever you might have some blackheads, but you can use it all over your face. My recommendation is if you're going to use it all over your face, think about where your fine baby hairs are, and you might want to shave those before you apply that this mask. So the people that apply this mask and didn't take into consideration their baby hairs, put this mask all over and this mask is serious. When they went to rip off the mask, it ripped out those baby hairs, hence the screaming. But if you do shave your face down of the baby hairs, you do need to make sure you're over some steam to really open up your pores. For me, I can put my face over steam and really know when my pores are fully open. It doesn't happen exactly immediately. So you gotta let that steam kinda hit your face. What I do is I put a pot of water, I boil it over the um, on the stove, and then I kinda put a towel over a little bit back because if you're right over the pot you're going to burn the hell out of your face that's not the that's not the goal you want to be close enough so that you get the heat and you can feel your pores opening up but you don't want to be too close where you burn yourself so once your pores are opened up then you apply this all of, you know wherever you want to in your problem zones or you can do it all over your face i have and it makes your face feel amazing but again i shaved off my baby hairs so long story short, you pull this sucker off and oh my God, your skin feels amazing. It will pull out stuff you had no clue was in your face. But again, you gotta do it right by opening up your pores. I, this is the second time I've purchased this and I absolutely love it. I Okay, Rob's gonna kill me, but I finally had talked Rob into using it on his skin and he was just like, I'm not using that on my skin. For whatever reason, he thinks if he uses products on his skin that females do, I don't know. Maybe he thinks his eyelashes are going to grow longer. I don't know what his problem is, All seriousness, in all seriousness. Um, but after I did it a few times, the next on him, he realized how much better his skin was. So then he would see me pull that out and go, well, are you going to do my face too? Absolutely. So anyways, even my husband, who does not use any products on his face, likes how that does. Okay, so the next section that I have purchased is the Kales or Kyles. I really like their products. They typically are pretty expensive. You can go direct to the store or you can purchase them. I believe I got this. It's either Ulta or Sephora. I believe it was Ulta. So this one I wanted to try is a blue herbal acne cleanser treatment. It also has an astringent herbal lotion 
and spot treatment. So I occasionally have, and this is also for oily prone skin. I'm in my 40s and I still have breakouts. So I did want to try something during those hormonal times of the week to try this to see if that will help calm down those hormonal breakouts. So very excited to finally share this with you that I purchased it so that now I can open it up and use it. And I will give you guys a uh, review on that if, if it really did help my hormonal breakouts. One of the other bits that um, I got, this one was from the Sephora Beauty Insider, is I am a fan of Marc Jacobs. So I was super pumped that they did a box from Marc Jacobs. And so we have some of their decadence perfume. We have a little baby blacker. This is awesome, so it can go in my purse. Then we have a carry along Marc Jacobs mascara in Velvet Noir, and I love this mascara. In fact, if you watch my Trashy Talk video that will probably go out before this one, it talks about Marc Jacobs mascara a few times. Then we have this cute little lippy that once again makes it easy to throw in to your purse and go. And then we have, look at how cute this lipstick is. So I really like these travel sizes because I love Marc Jacobs and I can go ahead and put those in a little makeup bag in my purse and always be ready to try to look fantastic. So I mentioned my little sister, um, Cass. Hi, I love you. Um, Cass knows that I love makeup and I have to give it to her. She has been in my little studio when I was in Georgia and she was overwhelmed with everything that I had. But did that stop her from trying to buy me a present that was makeup related? No. Cass, I love the fact that even though you were intimidated in my little studio with all my makeup bits, that didn't stop you from trying to get me something that I absolutely love and not knowing did I already have it, but guess what? I didn't. So she bought me the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick uh, and Lip Mattifier set. And all these colors are basically neutrals, which are really my jam. I've been stuck in the neutral world for about a year now. I just love neutral lips. I guess that's because I like to have a really bold eye for the most part. And so, and Cass, just so you know, I've never tried Smashbox lippies. So she just absolutely went out on a limb and hit a grand slam home run. So Cass, thank you, thank you, thank you for um, adding to my collection. But I'm super pumped because I've never used these before. So I can't wait to do a review on these. So Cass, love you deeply. That was pretty awesome. I did pick up some Catrice Prime and Find Makeup Transformer Drops. So I've got a couple foundations that are lighter and work well for me during winter, even fall, but the new house has a pool. And so I'm guessing that this next year, my skin color might change from pasty white. I don't know. I mean, I still plan on, on using, um, some sunblock, etc. But I have a feeling I might have some more color in my skin this next year. So in prepping for the possibility that the ghosty might get just a wee bit of color, I don't want to have to go out and buy a bunch of new foundations. So I was asking my sister-in-law, Sabrina, the makeup mom, um, what does she do when her skin um, might get darker with and then, or she gets a foundation that is too light. She said she uses the darkening makeup drops just to kind of help warm up whatever foundation might be too light. And thank you, Sabrina, for that tidbit because you know I can never return anything. In fact, I did a video recently where I said I was going to return an eye palette because I was absolutely disappointed. It hasn't happened. It's actually in the box to be returned. It hasn't been returned. I actually put back several boxes to be returned. They're in my back seat. They've been in my back seat for, well, it's been well over a month because I've been sick for a month. Um, you can probably still hear it in my voice, 
but yeah so they've been traveling in my car for probably a month and a half minimum and i still have not made it to the post office to return those i just hate returning things the fact that i did get them to a box i will give myself a pat on the back but i haven't executed okay so i do like uh shiny i like um iridescent. I've always been attracted to them since I was a, a kid. And so I've now purchased the Melted Too Faced in Unicorn Tears. I actually have their, um, I think it's, hold on a second. Let me grab it. Yeah, Too Faced had Unicorn Tears in just a regular lipstick, which adds a bit of shine. So then when I saw that they had unicorn tears and a melted latex, I had to be all over it. So this is the first time I'm going to swatch this. So let's see. Ooh, look it. So there's the melted latex. It adds kind of like a little purplish glow. So I'm going to leave that on my table to try also. Whew, my little beat. So next, we, um, I had an opportunity, I think this was through Sephora also, to try the Basil and Aroli Cologne by Joe Malone. I, I love the smell of basil. I don't know what Neroli is, but I did want to try a new cologne. I am a Burberry Brit. Queen. Like I have it in my car. I've got it in my purse. I've got it in two houses and I just can't get away from Burberry Brit. But every once in a while I like to put my toe in and try a different cologne and that's where these little bad boys come in. I would say this one is very clean. It does have kind of, and I wouldn't say a basil. I would never think that basil is in here. But it does have a nice scent, so I'm going to look forward to trying this just to try something new because, again, I'm a Burberry Brit queen. So my sister sent me another gift, and once again, let me tell you, she hit it out of the park with both gifts. So she sent me this beautiful Cover Effects Perfect Highlighting Palette. I don't have this. I have Cover Effects in the Liquid highlighters but I don't have the powder so she got me yet another amazing gift that I didn't have and if you knew how many I, I do need to do a video on my room because it's pretty crazy with the products that I have so the fact that the two products she sent me I don't have I mean is so exciting so Cass, I give you like, I don't know how you pulled that off, but thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'll be doing a review on this palette along with the lipstick because I'm just so appreciative. She sent me these uh, great gifts and I just, I can't wait to try them. So Cass, you are the best. Love you little one. Now, I did, Makeup Geek did put out some new products towards the end of the year. I ordered them, but unfortunately for me, I had them sent to my previous house in Georgia instead of switching the mailing address to one of the Texas places. And so I didn't get these until, um, again, right before I'm sick. And then I've been out of commission for a month. So this one is the Flawlessly Ever after this is the Braun Baroness uh, face palette. I love how bougie her, her products are. The cases are gorgeous. I mean, Marlena does a fantastic job, which is exactly why I basically own everything Makeup Geek. I used to own everything Makeup Geek until this last run, and I only bought two out of the three palettes because the third palette was just way too dark for my skin, even if I did fake tanning. So let's look at Flawlessly Ever After. So here is the palette. I really like the fact that I can take this with me um, either in my purse or traveling. So we have Heartbreaker that's a highlighter. We have Splendor that is a good contour. And then we've got two blushes, <laughs> two blushes, 
one in French Kiss and one in Love Bomb. So both of those colors are absolutely beautiful. They're in this amazing case. So again, you kind of take your highlighter, your contour, and all on the go. And you know what? I have not put on a highlighter today. So let's see what Heartbreaker does on this cheek because Mama loves her some highlighters. Ooh. Okay, come on now. Dang. That is stunning. So that is just, it, it looks a little, this comes off a little more kind of goldy, champagne-y than maybe, I don't know. I guess it kind of both is, but in the pan, it doesn't look as bright as this does. So, whew, mama can't wait to try that one. Okay, and I did as my last product is I have purchased the Makeup Geek Flawlessly Ever After. This is a fair lady palette. So this is for the really light skin women like myself. The one that I just showed you was a step up. Even though this one is more for my skin tone, I don't mind going a little bit above or below with colors from where I probably should be just because it's fun. I like to break rules. All right, so this Flawlessly Ever After palette has the highlighter, sorry, let me get the mirror out of the way, has the color Betrayal for the highlighter, and we're gonna go ahead and try that one next. We have Radiant for the contour, and then we have Amour and Flirt as the blushes. Again, I love the color choices of these blushes, absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and take another brush and see what this color called betrayal that just sounds so not it not it how does that do so okay here's my cheek and this one is just a lot more light kind of um it still has some glow to it, but probably a little bit more toned down, obviously, than this one. So you definitely get a pretty glow, but this one is like gonna be my favorite between the two, because that's pretty, but that's wow in your face. So I like wow in your face, and I know some women just like a, a light, um, kind of more natural glow. This mama likes it all about blinding. Cupcake, I wanna look like a cupcake with sprinkles. I, yeah, that's me. So anyways, I hope you liked these recent purchases that have been sitting here begging for me to do a video so that I can get back to the land of the living now that I'm finally feeling better from being sick. So um, I can't wait to start playing with these things again, get my new studio set up in the new house so I can start filming on a regular basis. I have absolutely felt horrible that I haven't done a great job while being out of commission at keeping videos up three days a week. I think I only had enough stored to do basically two videos a week. So once I get my new uh, studio set up, I'll probably be back to doing three videos instead of two so i'm totally looking forward to it because i have all these great products that i i really need to test i really want to test and i've missed the youtube world like i haven't even responded to all the comments and that's not like me so i'm so sorry for those people that have left comments so far that i haven't gotten to again i'm just trying to get on my feet at this point um I do work a regular full-time job, and so whatever energy I've had, had has had to be there. So um, basically, I've had zero time to have fun, and YouTube is my fun. It's my outlet. It's some guys like to golf. I like to play with makeup. So anyways, I'm just so excited to finally be on the tail end of this sickness where I can be back in front of the camera. Again, thank you all for being wonderful supporters. I really, really love the YouTube community. I love the subscribers I've had a chance to meet. I love the other YouTubers I've, the, I've had a chance to meet. There are some beautiful, beautiful women out there that do great work. They're honest. They're supportive. They don't get involved in drama. 
they're just great, great people. So the YouTube community is pretty awesome overall. And the, the subscribers and supporters are, y'all are just my heart. So anyways, with that said, um, I've missed y'all horribly, horribly. And um, I just appreciate each and every one of you. So if you get a chance, tell me what you think about the video. Tell me about the products that I have not had to see that I've seen come out in the last month because I've been, I just haven't felt good. So anyways, if there's any products you think I should be trying, please put those below. I want to, again, thank each and every one of you. And as I always say at the end of my videos, um, you have a choice, so make it a great one. It is a choice. You can choose to be negative um, and let the world weigh on your shoulders or you can consciously every time a negative thought comes into your head consciously replace it with a positive one if you continue to do that over and over again you kind of really start changing your perception on life and your perception on life is what it is it life is great it is a blessing so you do have a choice make it a great one until next time.